This is the rather wonderful London Transport Museum and tonight it is the Edward Stanford Travel Writing Awards. Stanford's is of course one of the best map and travel bookshops on the planet so it's going to be a good one. I just wanted to tell the story of a wonderful cuisine that's been long overlooked and that is so um, exotic and exciting with its fragrance and its comforting notes. I'm feeling elated. This is a real honour. We've created a timeless gin, uh, and a gin that, we, that we, we think has legs and will go sort of across the globe and we've already been picked up by a bar in Singapore and one in Copenhagen and in the States, so it kind of fits perfectly with the travel world. We all were just completely blown away by her storytelling, um, by the way it gave us insight into Mongolia uh, and just the way that we actually cared what happened. It's a really wonderful event and it's great to be supported of course by Stanford's which is really the heart of travel writing and adventure and um, surrounded by such inspirational and amazing people. And the winner is Fight Girl Forest Boy by Chloe I really wanted to take people on journeys who wouldn't be able to make them. So I want people to be able to read uh, and travel. Um, people from all different economic backgrounds, you know you can't go but you can through a book. Um, and that's why my book is travel, it's very important to me. Each image being singular, singularly beautiful in its own right, but at the same time contributing to a whole aesthetic to the book. Uh, giving it a really, really cohesive style. And it was a beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, one we were very happy to give the prize to. To make the shortlist of any awards prize related to writing, you've got to be a near genius. I'm uh, delighted, uh, very uh, surprised, happy and honoured. I feel very honoured to, uh, to be so awarded by Stanford. So I've been fascinated by transit maps of all kinds for years and years, since I was a kid really. And it felt to us like airline maps was like a natural evolution of our various different books on transit. Cartography. What I also wanted to do was to sort of project the way that places are the backdrop for our imagination and that, that particular places and islands and cliffs and seaboards have this capacity to generate story. I have to say I'm actually really taken by surprise because as I say I've read the other two um, shortlisted uh, pieces which are very different and really, really wonderful. I'm delighted to announce that the Cicero Fiction with a Sense of Place Award has been won by Nicholas Butler for Little Faith. There was a certain amount of debate, a uh, very friendly debate, but we were all in the same, we were all aiming for the same zone in the end and, and we were all very happy, happy with the result. I'm feeling over the moon, I can't believe it. Um, Basically, it's about societies, it's about politics, it's about economics. It's also got a big dose of travel, and I'm just over the moon that people have identified it as a travel book. And I'm happy to say the winner is Underland by Robert McFarland. It asks one question, are we being good ancestors? Are we leaving the world in a better place for the future? And, and I had to go into the darkness to find that out. And I think the answer is no at the moment, but I think we can. I'm someone who's inquisitive about the world, and that's why we're here tonight, celebrating travel and what it means to get out there and experience the world. Thank you so much.